So let's get into the boxing a little bit. So I'm saying, like, I be in the gym, and, um, man, my hands is good. Like, I, I got the snap going on, you know what I'm saying, the jab. That's right. My footwork is weak right now. My footwork is my footwork is horrible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do certain moves. But these legs don't want to move. So what what's some things I could do to, to help with my with my leg move agility? Um, you gotta get into um plyometric type exercises. If you don't know what plyometrics is, it's basically uh jump training. You know okay. what I'm saying? And um you sound like you're probably flat footed, you know what I'm saying? You're not boxing on the balls of your feet, you're probably planting your feet, and that okay. makes you grounded. So you want to be on the balls of your feet, especially your rear foot. You want to utilize like a kickstand kind of stance. So let's say if you're in your boxing stand and you got the soft knees, chin down, the elbows up. I mean, uh, chin down and uh, your hands up, elbows in. You want to have your back foot kicked up. You want to ball that back foot, and that's going to put you in a in a in a, a, a very kinetic and mobile type of stance where you can transition, pivot, step in, step back and throw your combination at the same time. So you just gotta work technique, get into plyometrics, and uh, always, you know, work on your, your your cardiovascular conditioning. You know what okay. I mean? Like, okay. believe it or not, I just started boxing within the last maybe four years or so. You know what I'm saying? I've been a martial arts practitioner, I would say for at least over 25 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually a professor of the martial arts and a martial art hall of famer. I was inducted okay. back in um, 2019. But um, I just literally got into, uh, like I say, boxing maybe four or four or five years ago. If I, if I would have did it, like in my youth, youth, nigga, I, I, nigga, I would have been like Roy Jones in this bitch. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, that's what's up, man. Hey, I enjoy it, man. I be in there. Hey, it's it's tough. It's tough, boy. It's definitely you know, but but for someone that, cause I've always had weight on me. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I've had times where you know I'm slimmed down, but I've always had a little weight on me. You know what I'm saying? So for someone that's getting into the groove of things, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely a it's definitely a tough workout. But like you said, man, like when you don't go, you you uh you feel guilty about it. And when I go, I just feel like a hundred times better. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hundred times better, man. So it's it's definitely um became a, a part of my lifestyle. Um and man, that's what's up, man. I'm yeah. telling you. Make it a lifestyle, you know, and I tell my viewers and I tell my readers too, man, like this is really a strong my op principle that I fucking live by. Mm -hmm. And I say it already. The highest calling of a man is to protect a woman so she, so she can walk the earth unharmed. If you if you don't have any combat skills, if you're not fit enough and strong enough to protect your woman or yourself or your family, what kind of man is you? Exactly. So at the very so at the very least, a nigga should know how to box. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then for the ground, uh, a nigga should know how to wrestle. If you can box and if you can wrestle, you can hold your own basically anybody with, with a boxer, an MMA guy, a martial artist. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to put that work in. You, you feel me? And right. nothing keeps you and nothing keeps you in good shape like boxing. Like boxing is an ultimate uh hit workout. And I mean by hit, I'm talking about high intensity interval uh training. You know what I'm saying? That's when you spike, you, you, you go hard for three minutes, you rest for one minute. So you spike in your heart and your lungs and your whole body. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is the best. You want to be in the best shape of your life? Nigga, box. Yeah, man. I see yeah. it, man. <laughs> hey, yeah. I, I feel it, man. I'm telling you, every time I go, I feel it. Because it's that full body workout. You know, you're working your legs, you're working your arms, you're working your torso. You know, right. like you said, you, you, you're breathing deep, you're sweating, you know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah, that, that full body boxing workout. And the trainer I got, he a monster. Like, he right. actually, he's actually uh trained people that's in um certain UFC fights and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, he don't play no games with us, man. He be having us on the timer. He be like, boop, hit the, hit the push-ups. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm telling you, he be on it, man. Yeah. Um, it's fun though, man. It's great, man. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, and it's good. Another thing that's good about it is when I go, they got a lot of youth there, a lot mm -hmm. of youth there. So they getting them early. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these things, growing up, you know what I'm saying? For me, and then for probably you know a lot of kids these days, they don't have these things. You know what I'm saying? They like right. from Chicago, South Side of Chicago. Like I know it's boxing gyms out there. But like all oh, I was growing up, I never heard about no boxing gyms. You know, I never ran into somebody who was doing that to, to right. school. 
You know what I'm saying? So brothers like you, and then with this internet thing, the information get out extra quick. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Oh man, you know, I want these young brothers and sisters, you know, pick up on this information and definitely get in tune with being physically fit, eating better. So what 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 about your diet? Um what what what's some of the uh the nutritional things you do, you know what I'm saying, the same uh in top uh condition? Hey man, I'm mostly plant based, you know what I'm saying? Uh vegetarian and you know, I, I eat a little meat here and there, maybe some fish or lamb, because some lamb or whatnot. But nigga, like like beef and pork and all that fuck shit, hell no. You know what I'm saying? So you you wanna you wanna eat mostly a plant based diet because all the protein, all the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals are in the plants any fucking way. You know what right. I mean? So eat 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 something green every day. Like for example, I may eat twice a day. Like I, I like I do intermittent fasting, right? Like I don't eat until around eleven AM, twelve noon, you know what I'm saying, when I have my brunch. And that's basically maybe uh you know, some eggs with some spinach in it. You know what I'm saying? A protein waffle. You know what I mean? Some some uh some vegan or plant based. You know, bacon or or whatever. Right. Go ahead and cook that up with a bowl of total and some orange juice and some fruit. Nigga, I'm good. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And then, then in the afternoon or whatnot, or especially after a workout, I follow that down with a with a with a high uh. Uh, nutrient intensive protein shake. So I use a plant based protein like hemp and things like that. And nigga, from any anything from ashwagandha to black maca, black seed oil, uh, 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 the protein powder, the cream. Nigga, I put all that shit in it and knock it down with fruits and, and, and uh, like a fruit blend, like a frozen fruit blend. I put all that shit in there and I use like uh, like coconut milk or like maybe some boost or some insure or some shit. You know what I'm saying to make yeah. a nice base and I knock it down. Okay. You know what I mean? Behind the workout and then for dinner, you know what I'm saying. I might eat like a salad. You know what I mean with a plant based kind of like 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 meat. You know what I mean. Like yeah. so like like you, you, they got vegan chicken out here. They got vegan this, vegan that. Like it, it's a whole lot of replacements. You know what I'm saying. But like I said, every now and again, I might, I might, you know, knock down a salmon, or I might, you know, what I'm saying, do a little lamb, lamb kebab or some shit like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? But other than that, I use the 80-20 rule. You ever heard of that? The 80-20 rule, 80 percent, 20 percent. Yeah, yeah, I heard so of I'm it. Most, I'm mostly plant based, and then I have a little bit of 20 percent like cheap stuff. So I still get my little cookie, my little ice cream, or whatever in there mm -hmm. every now and then. But bruh. That's probably like once a week on the weekends. Other than that, I'm banging it out. I'm eating right. I'm drinking lots of water. I'm exercising. I'm getting my sunlight. Uh, you know, I, I I just maintain that holistic approach, and that's 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 my problem with youth, man. Hey man, that's where it's at, man. That's where it's at, man. I hate, I hate, you know. I'm I'm glad that I'm on it now. You know, what I'm saying I'm late in the game, very late in the game, but I'm on it now. You know, um, I just recently uh made the decision to stop. Doing, Cause I was kind of Presbyterian, you know. I was eating little fish, but I was still eating it. I just made the decision just to stop that. So I'm about like two, three weeks in on that, no fish. So, man, I'm, I'm a, I'm, man. I wake up, I do like, I do kale. I just do the straight kale, man. I put some spring water and fill it up with kale, man, and just bang it out, man. That's great. I do that, or I do fruit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't, I just mix it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go like. Cause you know, going too alkaline, you can make yourself sick. So you know, I try to put a little acidity up in there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, uh, see, that's that 80 20 balance. And, and what a lot of people don't realize too, man. Like uh, the ancient ancestors and Kemet, they were mostly vegetarian. They still ate a little meat here and there because you know a lot of their food came from the Nile, and the Nile was seasonal. You see what I'm saying? So when they would have a drought and shit like that, then they they, they had to eat a little livestock here and there or or some fish and shit like that. And you can see them actually uh, um, hunting and gathering. They, they got a few hieroglyphs on the walls. You, you see what I'm saying? So they weren't totally raw veganists like this because it's really popular right now. But right. Um, certainly a plant-based lifestyle for the most part is much healthier than eating an acidic diet. Right, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so um, like I always say, man, you know, for the, you know, like I say, I'm always driving it to the youth, you know, get it in early, you know what I'm saying? Get it in early, you know what I'm saying? Don't, I, I'm using myself as an example. Don't wait till you get to your mid to late 30s to start doing this when you could be doing this in your, your teens, 20s, 
and then you'll just be maxing out optimum at op optimum all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, now, exactly. you, you, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. Oh, yeah. But it's a lifestyle. You know, when you, when you talk about young young people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for all the young guys watching this video right now, imagine, you know, being older, 38, 48, 50, and then just coming into this knowledge. Like, you're getting this shit right now. Right. So, imagine yourself 10, 20, 30 years down the road, man. Y'all gonna be a beast out here. Y'all gonna be a problem. Yeah, you jumping over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just so thankful and grateful to be a part of this education because it's much needed. You know, yeah. all this simping, all this uh, simping and bullshit, you know, and being a feminine and all that, all this LGBT, man, fuck that. Be proud and being a masculine, heterosexual, powerful ass black man, a king, a god, and a star, goddammit. Like, be unapologetic about it. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. See, that, that shit right there just gave me motherfucking chills, man. You know? <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. Because it's like, man, you know, it's like they're trying to cancel us out, man. Yeah, I, ain't going for it. I ain't going for it. You know what it I'm saying? I, I tell everybody, every interview I have, I be like, look, man, you know, I was born in 83. Man, I came up under I came up under that, that Tupac ideology. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know that 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 other stuff. You know what I'm saying? All that that extra. You know what I'm saying? With your with your wrist broke stuff. It is what it is for whoever get down like that, man. But man, high pride in the fact that you're a male. That you know what I'm saying. Become a man. You know what I'm saying. And hold it down. Be masculine. You know what I'm saying. All the all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying. It ain't it ain't where it's at. You know what I'm saying. 